welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is indy alexis and welcome back to another weekend in my life i feel like i haven't did a week in my life vlog in a minute well at least weekend in my life vlog in a minute and that's because i started a new job two weeks ago as most of you guys probably know from like my previous vlogs or whatever and i actually go into the office now so it's really hard for me to like you know vlog because i'm at work but uh yeah and let's address the elephant in the room actually so i straightened my hair i gotta still press this sunday it's now thursday as you can tell there's nothing really silky about it anymore <laughs> charlotte natural hair and straight hair just don't work so um honestly i really didn't want to apply no more heat to it so i just been um pin curling my hair every single night so i had this little half a pap down today because the front didn't turn out the way i wanted it to but it is what it is but I'm doing a little weekend in my life vlog because this weekend I'm actually doing some fun things. I'm going to work and then um, um, hanging out with my line sisters on Saturday. They're coming into town for the Jasmine Sullivan concert <laughs> on Sunday that I'm really excited about. I'm so glad that she's recovered from COVID because she's been canceling shows left and right, left and right. But she did the Atlanta show last night. So she is nine times out of 10 going to come to Charlotte. I'm going to cross my fingers. But it is 7.15 and I really need to head out the door. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing really quickly. So today, I got my hair in this little half up, half down thingamabob. And I'm wearing this black cardigan I got from, I don't remember at this point, Marshalls, I think. Banana Public Factory pants. And then some loafers from DSW. So, yeah, I gotta head out the house because I gotta be to work at 8 o'clock and I don't have time for this no more. Six hours later. Hey y'all. <laughs> what that little girl said? Hey y'all, I'm still in lip glosses, and if y'all want y'all lips popping like mine, <sighs> holla at me. <laughs> but anyway, hey guys, I just got in from work and I went to the mailbox. Um, I've been collecting Amazon packages for the past like two weeks so I can do this portion of today's video. Um, so as you guys may know, I'm moving in like less than a month. And I've been collecting kitchen stuff because I'm so excited to have a new kitchen. Like this little shindig that I got going on back here, it's not cutting it anymore. So I'm really excited to move. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Amazon. Everything is gonna be linked in the description box below. Click on the links because they're commission based. So you know, if you click on you can help your girl out a little bit. So that's good. But anyway, click on the links and if you like the stuff, you know, purchase it. All right, first things first. The first thing that I got from Amazon is these set of three mixing bowls. I didn't realize how necessary it was to have mixing bowls until I actually started cooking for real. Like, you know, you know when you like seasoning meat or something, or just mixing up anything, like just a regular bowl is not gonna cut it, you need like a bigger bowl. So I just got a pack of three mixing bowls with the lids on them and everything from Amazon. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. It stinks though. Ooh, it's been in the box for a minute. But I got these candle holders from this brand called Jeezy. I think that's what it's called. But um, yeah, they smell bad. I don't know why they smell so bad, but I got these candle holders. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to put my candles on these little like platforms. So they're not just sitting directly on the, the counter space or wherever I actually put them, like the TV stand or whatever. So. This is how the candle holders look like. They smell horrible. I don't know why they smell like vinegar. Mm, that's so nasty. <laughs> but it's a pack of two and I got these from Amazon too. I'm gonna have the prices and the links, like I said, in the description box below for your buying pleasure. All right, the next thing I got is another kitchen necessity and I'm so excited to put this in my kitchen when I actually get more counter space. It's this knife set. This is just a holder because Again, I'm not opening the knives until I move, so they're, they're gonna stay in the boxes. But I feel like this is an essential, you know? It's like, it just makes any kitchen look better. So there's like um, knives, I'm pretty sure there's like a pizza cutter in here, there's kitchen scissors, um, and I don't remember exactly how much this was. Like I said, it's gonna be on the screen, but yeah, I got this from Amazon and I'm so excited! The next thing I got is more, <laughs> just more silverware, but these ones aren't silver actually. 
They are black, so they're stainless steel black. And I think these are gonna be so pretty. I shouldn't be opening this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But yeah, these are what the forks and the spoons and the knives look like. They're just stainless steel black forks. These are so nice. I'm like literally running out of forks and spoons and things. The kitchen stuff that I bought when I first moved, that is the same stuff that I've been using this whole year. So I feel like it's time to re-up, you know. <laughs> I'm tired of washing dishes every single day. The next thing I got was actually from my bathroom. This is a wipes holder. And if you're not using wipes when you use the bathroom, grow up. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, this is just a wipes holder. And actually I saw Naturally Sunny here on YouTube. She uses this um, for her dog's paws, but she also has one for her bathroom. So what you do is that you put the whole wipes container in here and then you just pull one out at a time. I feel like this is more aesthetically pleasing than having that cottonelle or whatever <laughs> flushable wipes just sitting on top of my toilet. So this is pretty. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom. All right, so the next thing I got was this coffee table book and I saw everybody getting the Chanel book. I saw everybody getting the Time for book and I was like, you know, that would be really cute, but I just wanna spice things up a little bit. So I think when I move, I kinda wanna make the living room kind of gold, blue, and yellow instead of this green. Well, actually, I might do green, blue, yellow, and gold. I don't know, but this book was my inspiration for that thought. So this is gonna be my coffee table book and then I'm gonna put stuff on top of it as well. But this is so pretty. Isn't this book so pretty for the coffee table? So this book is called Supreme Models and it says Supreme Models defines the importance of black model, not just to fashion and culture, but also as an agent of change for how all people of color are seen globally. So yeah, this book is just iconic black models and I love it so much. Okay, so the next thing that I got, um, like I said, I've been collecting this stuff for three months, is a cast iron skillet. I'm so excited for this. I feel like I'm getting old because I'm so excited for kitchen stuff. But I got a cast iron skillet because one, I like to make a lot of baked ziti. I like to make a lot of lasagna and I feel like it would just taste better, you know? If I was to make it in a cast iron skillet and then put it in the oven, like, oh my God, I'm growing up for real. But yeah, I got this cast iron skillet just for that purpose. And then also, um, you know, just for every other meal that I might wanna make. I don't know what else to make in a cast iron skillet. Okay, next. <laughs> and the last thing that I got, which I was kind of debating back and forth in my head, like, should I get it, should I not? It's kind of expensive but it's worth it because it'll make my life so much easier. Last thing that I got is, oh, I got the nail fryer. I'm so excited for this. Like literally, I have been going back and forth in my head. Like, should I get this air fryer? But like, there are so many quick air fryer meals I can make. I can stop having my house smell like chicken. I could just put my wings in the air fryer, put my fries in the air fryer. I can reheat pizza in the air fryer. I could just do so much stuff. So comment below what's your favorite air fryer recipe because I am so excited to use this air fryer. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything that I got from Amazon. I'm about to put it all right back in the box because I'm kind of low key starting to pack already. Um, just like things that I really wouldn't need in the next three weeks so I'm about to put everything back in the box and I'm about to cook something tonight I really I don't even know what I feel like cooking uh I kind of don't feel like cooking anything I kind of just want to eat some progresso soup and call it a night yeah so that's what I think I'm gonna do so good night y'all <laughs> hey guys I haven't picked up the camera since Friday it's Saturday night now and I got Denny and Taffy here with me say hello we back we back <laughs> A week. Oh my God, those are the Vegas so girls. Crazy. If you watch the Vegas vlog, <laughs> those are my line sisters. <laughs> They're so loud. So I'm walking to the bathroom, but I'm getting ready to leave. I'm about to just put some Fenty gloss balm on my lips. But hopefully these um pin curls drop just a little bit because they're kind of tight, but. We're about to head out to go to Virginia and I'm running late. We're meeting our friend Mike there. <laughs> We're meeting our friend Mike there, and yes, I'm gonna see you guys when we get to Virginia.
good morning. It's the next day. Um, yesterday, after we left Virginia, we went to Cloud Lounge slash bar slash club. It was fun. We stayed there till like one or two o'clock, and then we got home. It was three o'clock because they like Sammy's time or whatever. But it's the next day. I'm about to go out to brunch. We're going to Seventh Restaurant and Lounge um, in Uptown. It's black owned, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's black owned, and um, I've been there one time. I got like red velvet chicken and waffles, so that's what I want to get, but. Honestly, today we're probably just going to brunch, chilling, and then we have the Jasmine Sullivan concert tonight at 8 o'clock that I am so excited for. So I'll pick up this guy when we get to the restaurant. This is Kamaya and um, YG. I slide with it. <laughs> Back to the left and right with it. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. back home from brunch it was delicious um i would recommend seventh restaurant but now we're just watching um what's it called bel-air on peacock before the concert we have like two hours to relax everybody's a little slumped but we want to enjoy this until it's time to head out to the concert so hey guys we are about to go to the concert we're ready to go let me give you guys a quick outfit of the day <laughs> oh yeah we weren't I don't care. But I'm um, just wearing this body from Pretty Little Thing. These pants I got from Rainbow about five years ago. And my Converse. Danae has on this cute sweater dress from Old Navy. Old Navy. And these combat boots or Chelsea boots, whatever you call them, from Amazon. Amazon. And Taffy. Shirt from Forever 21. Pants from Walmart. Okay. Sheen bag. And then. Same. Oh, I didn't get the shoes. I'll have some black combat boots like Danae. <laughs> and those from H&M. Okay. All right, so yeah, we about to head out because we're trying to be in the front, so we gotta go. Bye.
love and I'm forgettable There isn't no one I want to go And I don't just want your heart, I want your soul All the tracks I got me strip around the pool And all my ex can't forget it Cause the shit just too good to let go And even though we ain't official You know I ain't Enjoyed the concert. Great. Fantastic. Yeah, it was marvelous. Just... She tried to play us at the end. She did. But you know, I don't fall for tricks. <laughs> yeah, she did a little fake <laughs> me out. And then we and went tricks. our way to we made our way up to the front. And then she came up and picked your feelings. It was amazing. But yeah. I thought he was talking to me. I was like, let's run it back in the morning when I have no voice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, right? Oh yeah, by the time I get home, I'm gonna have no voice. But anyway, this this ends the vlog for the weekend. It was so fun, my last. Yeah, for so the next concert. I know, we're going to see Lucky Day next month. Next so one. you'll see another vlog soon with the peeps. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.